In this video, we want to find the product from i equals 1 to n of the product from j equals 1 to n of i raised to j power. So let's first start by looking the inside product. So the inside product is the product from j equals 1 to n of i to j power. So we're going to leave i alone because our index here is in terms of j. So plugging in j equals 1, we get i to the first power j equals 2 is i squared, all the way up to j equals n, which is i to the nth power. And here, because it's a product, we have to multiply each of these. Now the inside product is finished. Let's work on the outside product. So we're going to take this and then simplify it first. So here we have the same base, which means you have to add the exponent. So really, this is just a sum. This is just i to the 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to the up to n and that's why I just simplified this as a sum from k equals 1 to n of k which we know that this is n times n plus 1 over 2 okay now we're going to apply the outside product to this and the only index here is i so i is only over here so for when i equals 1, we have 1 to that exponent. i equals 2 is 2 to the exponent, all the way up to n to that exponent. So they all have the same exponent. And so we can factor out that exponent. And then inside the parentheses, we'll just have 1 times 2 all the way up to n, which is just n factorial. So the final answer is n factorial raised to the n times n plus 1 over 2 power. So this approach was working inside with the inside product. What if we start with the outside product? So the outside product is i. So let's have i go from 1 to n. So instead of i to the j, we have 1 to the j, 2 to the j, all, all the way up to n to the j. Now the outside product is finished, so let's work inside product. The inside product is from j equals 1 to n. So uh, before I do that, before I um, simplify, what I'm going to do is notice that j is the exponent for each of these. So let's factor that out. And in the parentheses, I have 1 times 2 times 3 times all the way up to n, which can be rewritten as n factorial. And then that's going to be raised to the j power. So now I'm going to apply j equals 1 to n for the exponents. And because the base is the same, we could just add the exponents. And now the sum from k equals 1 to n of k is just n times n plus 1 over 2. And so we still get the same answer if we start with the outside product.